We're talking to Jess Bonasso of Radiant Self Care, often referred to as the self care goddess. And for all of you superwomen out there, we're talking about your kryptonite. If you're feeling wiped out day in and day out, there's one critical factor that might be taking you down. And Jess is here to tell us all about it. All right, Jess. I need know? to know what is this <laughs> kryptonite that's burning me out? All right. Well, it's actually something that's been happening for about the last hundred years or so since women as a whole entered the workforce. Um, you know, in, in back in the hundred, hundred years ago or whatever, we were taking care of our families and yeah. that was our primary responsibility, which is great. We, that was great. And then we decided to become the providers and help out and start bringing home the bacon and frying yes. it up in a pan and all Love of that. Bacon. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> So the problem started then, and I think really, um, you know, my, my degree, my undergraduate degree was in sociology, so I am fascinated by all things sociological. And so mm -hmm. what's happened is a sociological conditioning of sort, uh -huh. sorts, which has literally put women in a position where now they're not just the women who stay at home and they're the nurturers and the providers, the ones yeah. that take care of the family, but they're also having to help provide, which is not a bad thing because we want to be considered equals. Yeah. But it's wiping us out. We're, we're, we're literally... all of it. Yeah. I mean, we're <laughs> juggling everything. We're working all day long, and then we're coming home and working a second shift. Yes. Which is taking care of our family. And even if you don't have kids, which I don't have kids, but I have two dogs and a man mm -hmm. at home. <laughs> I mean, just making dinner every night, making breakfast every yes. morning, making sure that the laundry is clean, going grocery shopping. It's just... On, on top of being an entrepreneur, it's a lot, right? Yeah, I'm getting so, tired just listening to you. Exactly. So, you you know, <laughs> what what's happening is we're struggling to juggle it all. So yeah. the problem is the sociological conditioning that's happened okay. as a result of us entering the workforce. Um, and unfortunately, the, the symptoms that are starting to show up are signs of burnout. Yeah. 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 And in fact, um, there's a study that was done in 2015, which uh, found that two thirds of the female population is actually str struggling with stress related issues related to burnout. Oh, I can understand it. It's a I huge can part of the population. Yeah, that's a big proportion. Yeah. And a large part of it, I believe personally, is because of what I would call this masculinization of women, mm -hmm. where coming into the workforce now, we're forced to operate in this sort of masculine role and capacity. Yeah. Um, not a bad thing necessarily, but we, I don't think we've really figured it all out yet because yeah. too many of us are still stressing for it to be um, resolved. So it sounds like we just haven't found that balance between where we were and, you know, who we are today. We're yeah. trying to kind of figure out, you know, what is our positioning and it's, it sounds, it, I mean, that's a stressful process. I mean, mm -hmm. anytime we change where we were just going from one job to another job, right? You know, when we switch jobs, it's one of the most stressful transitions. Moving Very. to a new home is a stressful transition. So, mm -hmm. you know, having this societal change where we're, st we're still trying to figure out where we yeah. fit and, you know, what are our responsibilities and all that kind of stuff. I mean, that would be stressful. It is. And I think one of the biggest problems that we're facing with a lot of this is, you know, in the study that I referenced earlier, that the 75 percent of women who are struggling with anxiety and stress related mm -hmm. issues, only 40 percent of those women actually went in and got help for it. Wow. So a lot of us don't even know what we don't know. We're, we're completely ignorant that really what's happening is we're, we're being forced to come in and being expected yeah. to perform like a man, which is, like I said, it's great from an equality standpoint, mm -hmm. but it, it's very different for a woman to come in and operate in a masculine role, yeah. um, which is like action-oriented, goal-oriented, um, task-oriented kind of activities. It requires a lot more energy for a woman to manage that for long periods of time than it does for a man at a biological level. So okay. it's really important for women to understand that if they're dealing with stress, one of, the, one of the things they really need to start thinking about is how can they balance their energy more effectively? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not really about time management so much as it is about energy management. Okay, so what is the key to starting to do that? So I, I don't, I, I've, I hear a lot of the use of the terminology energy lately, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily understand what that means for me and how do I do things like balance my energy or even consider what that is for me. Right. That's a really great question. So, you know, when I think of energy, I think of how do I feel in my body? Do I mm -hmm. feel energized? Do I feel alive? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, or am I feeling exhausted? Am I feeling depleted? Okay. So for me, the energy piece that I'm talking about is how much energy do I have to get through the day? 
Like so literally yeah. energy to get through the day. Yeah. <laughs> so if you think about the Energizer Bunny, right, it'll keep going and going yes. and going. And if it's, you know, got the right batteries, it'll go forever. Yeah. <laughs> but if it doesn't have the right batteries, it's going to run out of steam at some point. And okay. that's, that's what's happening to us is we're running out of yeah. steam. So how do we re-energize ourselves then? So I think the solution for women to kind of um, counterbalance the masculinization of women that's taken place over the last 100 years is mm -hmm. to, you know, we were on the, the more feminine side before, now yeah. we are on the more masculine side. What I'd love to see is for women to find that happy middle ground yes. and um, kind of combine the masculine and feminine. And so mm -hmm. when it comes to energy management, making sure that you're engaging in activities throughout your day, your week, your month on a regular, consistent basis that are energy fueling uh -huh. in nature is extremely important for a woman. And if women are just if they're being, if they're focused on efficiency and productivity, and that's it, uh -huh. they're going to run out of steam. And so you want to think about how can I refuel myself halfway through the day when I'm starting to feel a little bit burned out. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you go take five minutes <laughs> and um, go meditate in your car, oh, or okay. go for a walk in the park. You know, you, you want to do activities that fuel you. So it, it could be exercise related. It could be listening to music. Um, so like a really personal, anything. a personal decision, something that personally fuels me yes. individually. Yeah. Not, there's not like specific things that I should be doing, but just think about what energizes me. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And there are some things that energize all of us, like you know, making sure you get enough rest yeah. is incredibly so important. <laughs> it's incredibly important, and a lot of women just don't. Um, and then also making sure you eat three times a day. Yeah. Women are no notorious for skipping meals breakfast it's terrible coffee. it's terrible yeah venti. so you know venti just breakfast yeah. <laughs> so, so taking care of your basic needs you know just that by itself can mm -hmm. really make a huge difference and then just not booking yourself so solid that yeah. you have that go that go 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 non-stop sort of thing happening all the time yeah it's too much for us beautiful yeah. thank you so much for those tips you're welcome and ladies energize yourselves that's right all right <laughs> says jess <laughs> thank you you're welcome thank you